All right, guys, since we're on the subject of bugs today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out one of our Doobie Roche bins and just kind of show you how we have them set up and what it takes to clean these guys out. Um, it can be a little time consuming, but once you get a little system down, it, it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, so you can tell it's pretty dirty. All it is is a uh, 35 gallon tote is what we use. Had a look at it there. Um, We've done other totes in the past, but these are just a lot easier for us. And we just cut out a little hole on the side, put some wire mesh um, with a glue gun on the inside so that they can actually get some airflow in there. And you don't want to use plastic mesh because if they get up here, they'll actually chew through that. So wire mesh is the best. So again, we're going to use our little, little, little uh, handy dandy sorting tote here and just kind of start moving some of these egg crates over into this thing here. As you can tell, we do pretty well with our dubious. Okay. Now, when you clean these out, you're gonna notice a bunch of junk on the bottom. And that's basically what we call frass, just like with any other bug, um, which is basically their poop. Um, but these guys don't have a lot in there right now, so what we're actually going to do is leave it in there. And the reason that we're going to leave it in there is because the babies will actually feed off of that a little bit and they like to hide in it. Instead of going up and down the crates with the, you know, the sub-adults and the adults, they like to just kind of climb around on the frass, which is pretty gross if we did that. You know, just rolling around in our parents' poop. Okay. Um, so, all I'm going to do from here is start putting these clean egg crates in here and you just kind of want to stack them up uh, standing up because if you lay them flat like some people do they'll actually go and collect all the frass in the little pockets and it just builds up a lot faster so when you put them up like this the frass tends to just fall to the bottom of the tote and when we stack them in here we're gonna do facing opposite ways so you know, back to back like this, and then if you have one facing from the front, you would just do like that. And the reason you want to do this is to create just a little bit of a gap so that, you know, the adults and the babies have enough room to walk in between these crates. And just like with the crickets and the soup worms I mentioned, um, the reason that we do this is to give them more room to walk around where they're not just overcrowded. So we're gonna set all these up. And you wanna make sure that your A crates are kind of in the middle of your tote and not too close to the edges because if they're close to the edges, the roaches will actually reach out to the edge and try to climb out. Now, these guys, as long as you keep them happy, they won't really try to escape. If you notice that the top of the egg crates are getting too close to the top of the tote, just trim your egg crates down or get a larger, a higher tote. Okay, now what I like to do is cut one egg crate in half. Always cut away from your body so you don't end up slicing yourself. And what I'm going to do with this is put it at one end and just stack these on top of each other just like this. And on top of that, just the good old Sterilite tote container lid flat across the top and the reason we're going to do that is so that you have somewhere to put their food where it's not going to be on top of the cardboard egg crates so that way it'll keep you know the moisture from getting on top of the egg crates and keep them from getting moldy and just all over gross all right so now all we have to do is get these guys over into the new clean egg crates and the easy way to do that is just pick up the little dirty ones Bring them over here and just kind of tap them off. 
and keep going and going and going until you get all the roaches out. All right, so here's the finished product. Yay! Like I said, these guys love to hide. So as soon as you get them set up in here again, they'll start hiding in these guys. <clears throat> but sooner or later, they'll go through on be all stacked up in here. Now, one thing I do want to tell you guys is that when dealing with any type of feeder bugs, um, make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area, especially if you have any type of respiratory issue, because as you can see, these guys especially do poop a lot. And with any bug, they're going to produce a lot of frass, and some people are extremely sensitive to that and even allergic to bug frass. So just keep that in mind. Just do it in a well-ventilated area. You want to do it outside? Hey, great. You know, enjoy some nature while you're messing with some bugs. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you all. Love you. Bye-bye.